Howdy everyone. Um, we're here going to jump in on a little bit of a inline, online instruction, that sort of a thing, trying to get things going for us. Um, at least I can talk without a mask on. That's kind of cool. Uh, for giving you guys some instruction, you actually might be able to understand what I'm saying. Um, I wanted to um, give you kind of the next installment in our barn owls uh, that we're doing. I had to redo the drawing uh, initially on that because when I did these uh, initial outlines that I were doing, was doing to help with um, the actual drawing thereof. It bled through on there and so all this and it was on kind of some inky spots over here so I wanted to redo that so I had a more finished drawing not just a not just an assignment. I want to make a nice painting. I didn't want to just do an assignment for you guys. Um, so uh, that's kind of where we are with those. Uh, things that you're going to notice. So we did the preliminary drawing and that took a little bit of time to do it to map it out and get it done correctly. Now on that other drawing I did not give a lot of detail onto the value shapes that are there. For example, what am I talking about? Well this is what I'm talking about. Uh, if we notice in the wood here, you notice there's a, uh, a gray color over here and then there's a black. So this was kind of the dark gray. We had little specks of light gray in there and then black over here. On this piece of wood we had a shape that was mostly this triangular shape that was a white. I mean, I mean there's stuff in there, there's texture in there. And then you had some light gray and that went into a dark gray. And so you'll find those sorts of things all over uh, this particular um, painting. And you really need to pay attention to those otherwise it, it's not going to happen for you. And you, you may look at the, the wing area and say, oh that's cool, that's a, that's a wing and you just start slopping some things on there. And it's, it's really not going to work because there's some subtleties that you may not notice if you don't pay attention to those value shapes. For example, um, as, we, as I'm looking at this wing, you'll notice that it, there's some white areas and there's some gray areas and, and dark gray areas. But you notice if I take uh, this area right here, uh, that there's this lighter area. And then the side of it goes into the side of this, which goes down here along a line where that white area is. And then there's some little dots that kind of come down this way. Um, the top of this you can kind of see maybe pops over like this. And so this creates the overall structure of the wing. You'll notice this little shape shares a common edge with this little shape over here. And then shares an edge with this little shape over here. Um, and when we put in some of the dark, dark areas, you'll see that they'll uh, this little line and, and area is a common border with this one and a common border with these little white areas that are in there. Pay attention to those as you start to put in those value shapes, particularly on the bird. I'm going to slide this up for just a second so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so on, on here, um, I can't see the wood as much maybe on the recording, but, but there's a shape in here which was uh, the dark gray. There's the shape in here which was the medium gray. And then there's a shape in here which was the white. Uh, likewise on the bottom when I'm, I'm looking at these things here, uh, there's, the, there's a dark gray here, there's a dark gray shape here, there's a light gray shape here. And I'm trying to mimic those, make them very, very similar. I've already talked about it on, on, the, on the bird itself as to try and get the structure of some of this wing area as, uh, as things come down. And so as it's coming down over here, I, I kind of drew a line here and I kind of drew a line here. And then these other shapes, like there's the white area that's right here. There's these little areas which are the, the light gray, but notice they have some common borders. And then there's the dark gray shapes in through here. And then there's uh, some little bitty black ones that are in there as well. And so those are some of the things that um, I find helpful as we're doing here. Example here is we're starting to look at the crown of, of the, the head of the bird. You have a large white area that is white right in through here, right? And then it transitions into the light gray right here. And so I have the large white area. This is the transition into the light gray. And then the dark gray, almost like a cap, is sitting on top of, of his head, his or her head, uh, with those. And so I need to account for those as I start doing my, my painting so that I stay true to the, the, the structures that are there and make it look realistic. If you just have the basic outline thing like here and then you start putting in and you only account for the white, and the dark, you're going to lose some of the structure in here and you look at the size of, of this area that takes up this, this drawing. It's fairly large and so as such you're like, oh man, that's a very large area. And so if, you, if, you just, if it's a throwaway area for you, it's stuck right in the middle of the painting 
and you, you're going to have some difficulties. So say, take some time to draw in these, these little areas that I've been talking about um, to make sure you know where your values are going to go uh, with those. And so I'm going to move these off to the side. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to have them. I'm going to have them for a reference. Maybe we'll just put them up top here so I can see them a little better so you know that I'm actually referring to some things. We're going to start with um, the white areas uh, we've already established. We know that this is white and there's some white in through here. Uh, and so the real painting is probably going to be uh, the white areas. Circle them so you don't paint them. And then the gray areas, light gray areas will come uh, that we're going to put in there. And then we're going to put in the dark gray. And then we're going to do the black, uh, the last application on those. And so as far as videos goes, this one will be the light gray. And so you should have four videos. You should have the outline drawing. You should have uh, the light gray application. You should have the dark gray application. And then finally, you should have uh, the black application on those. And so those are, those are the four steps that you should have as you complete uh, this uh, particular drawing. And there might be some drying time in between those uh, as we start to go on. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of the brush uh, ready to go. Now I'm going to have, I'm going to get some black, and I'm going to put a little bit in some brown. It's mostly going to be a black and white um, uh, painting, but I might drop some little bits of browns in here and there, you know, depending on what we're feeling like. Um, so light gray first, and so I need this to be, I'm just going to mix up here on the top of the tray, just get a little bit of pigment, and this has got to be light. Okay, so a lot of water, a little bit of pigment, and I'm going to start in some of the areas that I know are not the front, you know, not, not right, right in there. So like I'm going to start over here on the wood. I, I see that on, on, the, on the painting here, there's a little light gray area that goes like this, and so, and maybe even some white in there. So I'm going I'm to put this in, in like this, start maybe at the wing, uh, put in some of that light area, and then come in, that's a little dark and put this area in, rough edge on the sides, and this is my light gray area. Now there, there are some texture lines of some, some of the darker stuff that's over top there as we go into it. I'm going to pull out a little bit of that. That was when I first touched it. I didn't want it to be that heavy with the pigment on those. And on my, on my drawing, I also, by accident, I, I did not put that solid line down here at the bottom uh, either. So um, we're, we're adapting with that. Uh, and so I think that there's just a little bit of light gray here that kind of ziggity zaggities over like that. But there's uh, quite a bit of white that's there as well. Okay, I'm going to pop up here. Now in this area, along some of these swirly lines that I have uh, right over here, um, there's some uh, light gray right in through here as it transitions and it follows this, these lines like I said so that gives you some sort of structure as you're looking for it so there's a little bit of light gray there and maybe along some of these lines here as well the, these swirly lines that I have there's some light gray that we can put in and I'm being kind of random in here I'm not following exact but I'm trying to get these little spots in here and then this is a definite light gray area right through here uh, that we have um, on our, our bird. Actually working on the, the, the background area first. So I can kind of establish a rhythm of, of what I want to do for um, the, the light gray, you know, the patterns that I want to make on it. And then I have, have this area here that's right next to it. And there, there is kind of jaggedy, and so I'm, I'm facilitating that same sort of a feel here. Now it does have a dark line separator. If I put leave just that area a little bit light, that's going to work for me as well. Okay, there's some light gray, and eventually that will transition into the dark gray as we come down here. I'm just going to see if I have any little specks or anything right in through here. I don't really see any. Um, the next part is, is this is more of a white up over here as I'm looking at it. And then it goes dark gray here. And there's transition. I pulled this down a little bit longer than is maybe here. And so I'm going to put in this next light gray area. Just by brushing back and forth. And maybe having some little bits stick out over here. A little bit of overlap. Back and forth. Making the strokes in the direction of the wood itself. So if I do have any any gaps or anything like that, I can kind of have those gaps in uh, what the, the same direction as the surface is what we're trying to do. And then this is that 
top of the wood over here as we're putting those in. And so I'm, I'm mimicking this sort of, uh, of, of some shapes here. I, I exaggerated them a little bit, but I think we're still going to be okay. Maybe some, looks like maybe a little bit of, of something out here that takes care of that, that wood. And then there was a little bit of a, I'm, I'm up, to, up top here right now, this had a little bit of light gray in it too, uh, this little piece of wood as it came down like that. Okay, so that's the application for the light gray kind of here on the side uh, as, as we've been working through it. And it, it's, a, it's a good start on what we got. I think we have uh, some good things established. Don't worry about the dark. It'll come into focus a little bit more, but establish those light grays. I think I might bump around the owl a little bit even, you know, because like I said, I'm kind of getting the, in the groove of everything. And so trying to establish some stuff here. So I'm going to look over here, and there's some lines that are the light gray that I've, I've left. And so that's going to come in through here. That's going to be part of the wood on this side. And we'll continue to put some of these little marks in here. And an occasional, just, just a little teeny ones. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm sometimes a little bit liberal in, uh, in the background on not being exact on the shape. You can be as exact as you want, but you do need to account for it. So that's that little bit of light gray there uh, on those. And uh, we'll just continue on with that.